Cancer cases are rising among millennials and Gen Xers at a concerning rate. A new study published by the American Cancer Society this month finds the younger generations are more likely to be diagnosed with 17 types of cancer compared to baby boomers. But what is causing this and what can adults do to protect their health? Mercy Health Medical Director of Radiation and Oncology, Dr. Carl Peterson, is here to explain. Doctor, thank you for taking the time. Thank you. Yes, this study finds that we're seeing a higher rate of different types of cancer. Endometrial cancer is one of the fastest growing ones that was mentioned in the American Cancer Society study. They also found a rise of you know, risk by two to three times for people born in 1990 for pancreatic kidney, small intestine cancers compared to people born in the 50s. Are you seeing this trend locally? Absolutely. Um, the data has um, been quite shocking. Uh, published in the journal Cancer Statistics, Lancet and well summarized uh, by the American Cancer Society um, is a great factual description of 17 cancers um, that have been rising in incidence in the young. Um, our definition um, of a young cancer survivor is under age 50. Unfortunately, uh, the vast majority of these cancers are glandular cancers. Uh, they include stomach cancers, small intestine cancers, colorectal cancers. Uh, pancreas, liver, endometrial, bile duct, etc. While I don't exactly expect anybody to remember that list, understand that it is a long list of primary glandular cancers. Uh, yeah. What the literature is describing or attempting to describe are causal factors in a 2% increase per year from 1995 to 224 in cancer incidence in this age bracket. Um, it's very concerning. And what is contributing, do you think, to the higher rates? Is it better detection we're seeing, or is it other factors? Certainly, um, with growing technology, multidisciplinary team management, um, outcomes are better. And we are catching more cancers and treating more cancers effectively um, than at any time previous. However, um, early detection is and very important early detection, but it's only part of the story. Um, what the epidemiological science says or what the statistics over time tell us regarding these diseases is that there are pro noted uh, multifactorial preventable causes. So what's that mean? It's not just one thing um, that relates to the rise in cancer in individuals under age 50, um, but it's a culmination of lifestyle risk factors. Uh, very unfortunately, um, most of um, Americans, most Americans eat a diet um, that is not rich in fruits, vegetables, and fiber. Uh, most Americans eat far higher amounts of red meat and processed sugar um, than is considered healthy. And um, what the literature is telling us is that there's links to obesity um, and 10 of the 17 rising cancers. So um, if you're young and you're under age 50, um, there's a much higher likelihood you're going to get cancer if you're a millennial and Gen Z than in previous yeah. generations, specifically for the 17 types described in the literature. Yeah, what can we these millennials, that, Gen Zers do to protect their health, avoid maybe some certain things? Because I know I'm a millennial, I guess myself. Yes. And Absolutely. I know getting raised, you know, with, you know, we had fast food that really evolved over our lifetime. Is there something that we should do to just maybe keep this away if we can? Yes, um, 10 of the 17 cancers are linked to obesity. So exercise daily, for 250 minutes per week and maintain a healthy body mass index. Two, avoid red meat. Um, while eating healthy is really hard, I'm sure we all agree upon that, um, red meat is linked uh, to the development of glandular cancers. Also, alcohol. Unfortunately, uh, most of us have had a drink in our life, but alcohol is linked to glandular cancers and many of these types. Um, eating a diet rich in processed foods, which most of us do, particularly in the Midwest, is a link to the rise um, of cancer in the young. You got to follow these doctor's orders from yourself and all the experts. I really appreciate you joining me to weigh in on this study as it just came out this month and it was definitely alarming. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you.